Thank you for choosing the AmLabs Immunometer for healthcare and professional use. In this video, we will show you how to set up, calibrate, and test samples with the AmLabs Immunometer. Let's begin by reviewing all the components that make up the AmLabs Immunometer. Before we begin, ensure you have the following materials. One AmLabs Immunometer, one user manual, one quick start guide, one power cord, one power adapter, one calibration cartridge, one 250 microliters fixed volume pipette and tips, one printer paper row, one touch pen, one USB disc. To set up the meter, place the AmLabs immunometer and accessories on a flat work surface. Now, connect the power cord to the power adapter and then plug one end of the adapter into the back of the meter. Plug the other end of the adapter into a 110 volts or 240 volts AC socket with grounding protection and ensure that external power supply is properly powered on. Please do not unplug the power supply during the test. Next, insert the printer paper. Pull up and open the cover of the thermal printer, which is located on top of the meter and then insert the printer paper as shown. Allow a small portion of the printer paper to be extended outside of the printer paper compartment and close the printer cover. The meter will automatically feed the thermal printer when it is turned on. Now, we will highlight a few important features on the AmLabs immunometer. In the front is the LCD touch screen, warning light, status light, power light, cartridge tray, cartridge tray eject button, and a power button. On the back of AmLabs immunometer, we have a power connector, a serial port, an Ethernet port, a SIM card slot, two USB ports, and a built-in thermal printer. Press and hold the on-off power button until the green power light turns on. One minute later, we see the logging menu. The default user ID is admin and the default password is blank. If you want to exit the system or change user, tap logout. You will be back to logging menu. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds to power off. Before you perform any test, please refer to the user menu for detailed instructions and type the setting button on the home menu to setting the parameters. The first tab of the settings menu is master menu. You can set up print mode, auto selected means print result automatically after test and manual selected means print result manually. Test mode. According to your usage habits, select internal or external test modes. Internal test mode means right after adding sample into the cartridge, insert the cartridge into the meter directly and test completed automatically within several minutes. External test mode means after adding sample into the cartridge, the cartridge must be placed outside of the meter for 10 minutes. After that, insert the cartridge into the meter and the test will be completed within 30 seconds. Date and time format. Select 24 hour or 12 hour format and date format according to your usage habits. Date and time settings. Tap the date and time test box to adjust the date and time by the calendar. Tap back to return to the home menu or tap save to save user settings. Tap language to select the language you need. Tap test the tab for test the setting. If auto num is selected, the patient ID would be automatically generated when performing a test. Otherwise, the patient ID must be manually entered. You can set up the code prefix inserted before each automatically generated patient ID, which consists of characters such as case-sensitive alphabetical letters. When enable QC is selected, if the QC test fails, no sample test will be allowed, while disable QC means the QC test results would not affect the sample test. Calibration frequency can be set to daily, weekly, or monthly. The expiration reminder indicates that before the reader calibration expires, it reminds the user to run the calibration in advance, number 1 to 99% indicating the degree of advancement. 
Tap Range to reference range's setting menu. Modify the lower limit, upper limit, and unit for each test item here. When input lower limit, upper limit of reference range, and saved, it will be displayed both upon the completion of sample test and in the print result. If the test results exceed the reference ranges, up arrows or down arrow notifications will be prompted at the end of the sample test as well as in the printout. The test results or QC results will be displayed and printed with such unit. Once the unit is modified, such as nanogram per milliliter or picomole per liter, tap Save to apply any changes. Tap Screen into Screen Menu. Drag the scroll bar to adjust the screen brightness as you wish. Tap the Screen Calibration button to calibrate screen. Select the crosshair cursor and follow the displayed instructions. The system will automatically restart after the screen calibration. Network Settings tab includes the local network and server settings. When the M-Labs immunometer is going to connect with an information system, such as Laboratory Information System, please contact MicroPoint for more details information. Tap Upgrade Settings menu when doing the software upgrade. Insert the USB disk with the upgrade software into the USB port. The USB icon will appear at the top of the screen. Tap Upgrade. When upgrade is completed, the system will automatically restart. Tap Account on the Home menu to delete, modify it, or add user ID. Password is editable with digits and case-sensitive alphabetical letters. Select the options below to modify the authorities for users to upload, delete, or save the results. To install or delete data drive, to run QC or calibration, to connect internet or auto-logging. A single lot-specific data drive IC card or USB disk is provided along with each kit of cartridges. Prior to running any cartridges, the data drive must be installed into MLAB's immunometer. The data drive provides a lot of specific information such as lot number, expiration date, calibration curves, sample types and QC information. One data drive is only required to be installed once for each lot. The MLAB's immunometer can store data drive for different lots. For IC card installation, insert the IC card into the slot on the right side of the meter along the arrow direction marked on the card. When the IC card is properly inserted into the meter, the IC card icon will appear at the top left of the screen. For USB disk installation, insert USB disk into the USB port at the rear of the MLAB's immunometer. And the USB icon will appear at the top of the screen. From the home menu, select the data drives Tap IC card or USB drive to install the data drives. Tap OK to confirm. All installed data drives will be listed in the menu. In most cases, the corresponding QC data drive is installed with a test data drive. Before performing a QC test, tap QC in this menu to check the QC data drive with the same lot number with those in the test data drive list. Remove the USB disk or IC card from the MLAB's immunometer after installation. Calibration data drive has been installed by manufacturer. User does not need to reinstall or delete it. Before you use the MLAB's immunometer, you will need to calibrate the meter. To perform a calibration, press the eject button and place the calibration cartridge on the cartridge tray. From the Home menu, select Calibration. In this menu, you can check expiration date for calibration and usable times before expiration. Select Calibration and press Start. The meter run the calibration automatically. At the end of calibration test, the calibration cartridge is ejected. Remove and place into the provided case and save. Do not discard. This is required for future calibration use. Calibration results either calibration passed or calibration failed. If calibration failed, 
retry the calibration with correct steps. If failed again, please contact your MicroPoint distributor for further information. MLAB's AMH multi-level controls, including following materials, two vials of level 1 controls, two vials of level 2 controls, one product insert. Read the instruction provided with quality control material carefully before running a QC test. Prepare the cartridge and the QC sample follow the instructions stated in the control insert. Before testing, ensure that MLAB's immunometer setting is in internal test mode. Tap Settings on the Home menu, under the Common tab, and choose the test mode as Internal. Then back to the Home menu. Tap the QC test on the Home menu, choose the test item, for example, AMH, and choose the Level 1 or Level 2 of the lyophilized control, then input the lower limit and upper limit according to the label of the lyophilized control bottle. Tap Confirm button. Then input the QC sample code, which is user-defined, with 1 to 13 digits or letters. Unopen AMH lyophilized controls are stable at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius until expiration date stated on the label. Once opened, the control is stable for 48 hours at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Retrieve the controls from the packaging, reconstitute with 1.0 milliliters of the ionized water using a volumetric pipette. and gently swirl occasionally for 10 minutes. Do not shake. Do not mix mechanically. It is recommended that perform QC test immediately after QC sample well prepared. After preparation of the QC sample, use the pipette to dispense 250 microliters of the QC control liquid into the cartridge inlet. Press the cartridge tray eject button and place the cartridge into the cartridge tray. Tap Start. QC test run automatically. At the end of the QC test, the cartridge is ejected. Discard the used cartridge into the designated medical waste container. QC test result will be QC passed or QC failed, shown with qualitative result and lower and upper limit. QC failed means test result exceed the limit range. You need to return the QC processes. Pay attention on every detail operation. If failed again, please contact your MicroPoint distributor for further information. Now that the MLAB's immunometer is calibrated, ensure you have the following items before test. Some of the items are not included. MLAB's immunometer, MLAB's test cartridge, the patient sample, pipette tips, and biological or biohazard waste container, a pipette. Please wear gloves and safety glasses, as well as appropriate laboratory clothing. Discard the used cartridges and pipette tips into biohazard bin. Confirm the AM labs test you will be performing. Collect the patient samples as per your required procedures. The following chart highlights the validated collection tubes for each test. Always collect samples with a tube shown on the table. Prepare the cartridge from the cartridge kit and prepare fresh test sample. Ensure that the test data drive is correctly installed. From the home menu, select data drives. Check the lot number shown on the list. Retry the installed data drive steps if barcode or lot number is not on the list. MicroPoint Bioscience Incorporated provides many assays, including AMH, BMP, MT Pro BMP, Cardiac Panel 3, Troponin I, D Dimer, PCT, and COVID 19 antibody, IgG, and IgM. All these test cartridges should test with specific sample as shown. 1. For whole blood. Collect the venous samples using an EDTA blood collection tube. Thoroughly mix the sample by gentle inversion of the tube for two to three times. 2. For serum, collect the venous sample with an empty collection tube and centrifuge the sample at 3,000 revolution per minute for 15 minutes. Test the sample with 60 minutes after the collection. 3. 
for plasma. Collect the venous sample with blood collection tube and centrifuge the sample at 3,000 revolution per minute for 15 minutes. Test the sample within 60 minutes after the collection. If the test cannot be performed within 60 minutes after the collection, refrigerate the samples in 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for no more than 2 days or keep sample in the room temperature in 18 to 28 degrees Celsius for no more than 4 hours. If the sample is frozen, you can keep it no more than 6 months. Please note that do not use syringes to collect the test samples. Here we use AMH cartridge as example. The AMH kit including 25 AMH cartridges, 25 pipette tips, 1 data drive, and 1 insert. AMH test kit should be stored in the refrigeration at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius until the listed expiration date. Allow refrigerated serum samples to equilibrate to room temperature for 30 minutes and mix well prior to use. It is recommended to use internal mode to run the test. Remove test cartridge from pouch and label it with patient's ID on the front with a permanent marker. Using the provided pipette, transfer 250 microliters of sample into the inlet of the cartridge. Make sure you do not touch the sample inlet during all the processes. Do not place the pipette tip into the inlet during sample transfer as air bubbles may be generated. Tap Test to enter the sample test menu. Press the cartridge tray eject button, then place the cartridges into the MLAPS immunometer for testing. Press Start, the meter will automatically finish the test in a few minutes. For external mode, several cartridges can be tested in one round. Add sample into the sample well and place the cartridges on the platform for 10 minutes. Press the cartridge tray eject button, then place the cartridges one by one into the MLAPS immunometer for testing. When the test is completed, the cartridge ejected automatically. Test result will be displayed on the screen. The MLAPS cartridge is for one-time use only. Discard the used cartridges and pipette tips into the biohazard beam. For setting in auto print mode, result will be printed right after test finished. If setting in manual print mode, tap print to print the result. All results of sample tests, QC tests, and calibration tests can be reviewed in the results menu. Tap results from the home menu. Relevant results can be searched by results type. Test item. Patient ID. User ID. Time from A to B. Tap Search to list all the relevant results. You can upload test data to the provided USB disk inserted into the USB port at the rail of MLAPS immunometer. Tap the Upload from the Result menu, then the results saved in the meter can be uploaded to the USB disk. A progress bar will be shown during the uploading. When Upload Succeeded appears, Tap OK. Do not remove the USB disk until the prompt box disappears. Fail to do so many cause the loss of data. Thank you for choosing the MicroPoint MLAPS Immunometer.